Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about mono, stereo, and binaural. These are three terms that get tossed out a lot. I hear a lot of people that use them on the phone when we talk about room form. So mono, let's break it down and see if we can kind of get the differences, get a feel for it. Mono is one channel, one microphone. You can use multiple microphones for mono, but it's one position sound emanating from one position. If you use multiple microphones, you're going to sum anyway to a center position. So mono is usually one channel, one microphone. That's usually how to think about it. One source, sound emanating from one source. Stereo, just the opposite. It's after a 3D audio perspective, and there's a way that stereo gets that. It's kind of weird because it involves phase. <laughs> so there, there you go. Two or more channels started in the 70s. It was a great time for audio back then. Remember quadraphonic sound and four speakers and all of that, the predecessor to what we have today. The only thing we lacked back then was the processing. We had the analog domain. We had the amplifiers and the speakers, but we didn't have processing. Without processing, you can't make it work. So we have two mics, <clears throat> different arrival times. If you have one mic here and one mic here, you know, and you have source here, the distances are going to be different. You're going to have arrival time differences. And that arrival time is very similar to, I was thinking the other day about sidewall reflections. This is really critical. If you have speaker, these distances have to be equal because you want the arrival time at the listening position, just like you do in a stereo recording. You compensate for the arrival time, the difference in distances. That's why the distances have to be the same on playback, because when the source was created, it's meant to be played back in a, in a balanced situation. So even though the source was kind of created out of balance with different microphones and different arrival times, so it's an interesting uh, paradigm. So two mics, different arrival times, room sidewall, we talked about that. Two speakers, two mics. You got to be careful phase in, in one speaker if you just use one speaker you're going to get phase issues with stereo so it's uh, kind of funny just like you play mono over stereo you're not going to get stereo you're going to get mono over two channels so it's a little bit interesting binaural that's that dummy with the microphones in the ears we've all seen those pictures right it's called dummy head and then it's, the technique is called head shadowing which is the the head between the two ears, so the microphones go in there and um, they receive like the ears do, and then you record that. And it's, it's mainly things for headphones, headphone requirements, the binaural situation. So mono and stereo are something we use uh, in our business a lot. We use a mono recording when we tune systems and, and do setups to get that nice, strong center image and then bring stereo in there. But, you know, stereo is phasey. You ever heard that term? Well, it's kind of phasey. Well, it is. And you can see why, because you got two mics, different positions and rival times that, you know, that can be real phasey. You have to be careful. You guys that mic drums, you got overheads, you got kick, you got tom, they all got different distances. Those arrival times have to be calculated. And there's, there's formulas to do that. So I thought this was an interesting breakdown, mono, stereo, and binaural. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.